Hi guys, I know it's been quite a long time. Um, I've got allergies for the first time. I think that I can remember that I made my voice sound like this, so bear with me. I don't know if they're going away anytime soon. I don't know, but um, I've been sitting on this dream for a month and a half, I think. Um, praying about it because to me, it played on, uh, are you going to, are you, it was a question basically for me and I'm sure a lot of um, other people out there, maybe specifically parents, um, are you going to have your feet dug deep, rooted and grounded and ready for what's coming? Because what's coming is going to come fast and it is going to creep up on us. Um, unknowingly and surprisingly and if we aren't watching for it if we're not looking for the signs if we're not in our Bibles daily if we're not on our knees praying daily and really praying not just not just our normal thank you God for today thank you for my food kind of prayer but really getting into prayer and um, exposing your soul to God um, and that's really what he's looking for anyways but um, if you're not doing that now it's going to be harder later on when things are getting tougher um, so it took me a while to to really like do I need to share this dream um, and I can't get out of my mind I know that there's it's a warning dream um, so I will get into it I'm going to preface it with verses first um, and I, if I feel the Holy Spirit telling me to um, interpret this dream as I go, then I will. If not, um, then even if I do, I encourage you to pray about it. Don't take it, don't take it at face value. Um, a lot of it is not um, literal, um, but a lot of it is literal. I, if you take it all literal, you need to uh, it, pray about it. Just pray about it. And that's with every dream. Every dream you see here or you personally get, you need to pray about it. Because we see in part. We know in part. We prophesy in part. And we won't know fully until we're with Jesus. Um, so anyways, here's, here's some verses that I pulled up for this dream. Psalm 27, 4. One thing I ask and I would seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord in his presence all the days of my life. John 10, 10. The thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it in the full. Romans 8, 38, and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. And that is one verse you need to memorize because when we're not able to get a Bible anymore, you need to remember that and it needs to be written and inscribed in your soul. Um, so, this dream, uh, I was in my house, and I live out in the country. So everybody drives pickup trucks out here. I drive a pickup truck. Um, I look out my window, there's cornfields. I look out other windows, there's cornfields. So when you see pickup trucks, it's normal. I was doing dishes in my dream, and I look up, and there's pickup trucks pulling in. And I'm like, oh, well, there must be doing something in the field across from the road. Well, it was a woman driver. And she had this evil look to her. And I'm, it's, like, it's like my vision zoomed right in on her driving this pickup truck. And she wasn't like a big woman. She was smaller, um, kind of innocent looking. But I saw in my spirit, I heard the evil, I heard an evil intent. And so my vision zoomed in on her and she turned and she looked straight at me. 
And I knew right then and there, I was like, it is time. And I yelled for my kids, grab your go bags. And for some reason, my mom in real life, she is, she's dead. Um, but she was here in my dream. She was in the bathroom. And I'm like, mom, we have to go now. And my kids are grabbing their go bags. They're coming downstairs. I'm like, mom, we have to go now. She's like, give me 10 minutes. I'm going to the bathroom. So I said, sorry, we're leaving without you. And I love my mom dearly. Um, in real life, I would, I would have a very hard time with that. But I said, I said, we're leaving without you. And then I told the kids to get in the car. And that within all that probably was less than a minute from when I, to the time I saw the lady in the car till the end of that, it was like less than a minute. And I turned and looked and this lady, this lady was in my house already. And she's with this man. He looks Hispanic. And he's tall. He's like six foot tall. He doesn't say a word. He's in this jumpsuit that looks like he's an air traffic controller on the ground in the airport outside. And on the front of him was uh, Korean writing. And I know it's Korean. I'm a little bit familiar with different Asian cultures. Um, and I wanted to be sure. So I looked up... Um, the different characters of the, the Asian writing. And hold on a second. So um, I looked up, it was, it's Korean. And um, I thought that was really weird. That doesn't make any sense. He's standing next to this woman. This woman, I'm five foot tall. This woman is five foot tall. So like not really intimidating, right? But my daughter stood next to me and um, I can't remember exactly what she said, um, but my daughter said something um, about loving Jesus. And this lady, she goes, well, I used to think that way too, but then I realized the truth. And I'm thinking, my daughter, I don't, I, I'm, I don't think I've instilled it enough in her. What if she, what if she changes her mind? And then all of a sudden my daughter snapped back and she's like, I love Jesus with all my heart and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm like, dang, I did a good job. <laughs> and um, uh, so they, she said, you're coming with us. And so um, that guy still never said nothing. He just stood there, was just looking tall and intim intimidating. Um, and the next part of my dream, I remember we're in uh, like a, like an old store, um, like a Walmart. If you've ever seen the videos of the Walmarts being converted, it's what that looked like. Um, it was very tall ceilings, like 20 foot ceilings. And um, the windows, there's only windows along the top of the roof. Um, so you couldn't see out. And then inside, they, they shuffled us quickly. And everything happened so quickly, nobody knew what to do. Um, and so they were, me and my daughter were, were with each other. And uh, they were, everything was separated. This giant warehouse thing was separated by chain link fence. So we're going down this hall. And there's people in front of us, people behind us. And nobody knew what was going on because it was happening so quickly. And I look and I cross across the room is my son and my husband and my son was like what are what's happening and my husband was just looking at me like he didn't realize something terrible was happening and um i'm like i i knew that was the last time i was going to see them and so we turn this corner and there's a conveyor belt of gray shirt and pants coming down we each had to grab gray shirt and pants and they shuffled us into um, more maze of chain link. And there were beds, like bunk beds stacked. Um, and that's where I woke up. And uh, I woke up crying. I woke up pretty scared. Because um, one thing, one thing, if you're a parent, you, you know that being separated from your children is uh, probably one of your biggest Maybe not like fears, fear to you, like, uh, but like a concern, like a huge concern, okay? Um, my dog, hold on. Okay, 
I'm sorry, I don't want my dog off. I remembered the um I remembered the part I missed. So before I was I saw this vehicle, um my family and I were driving home on the highway and I'm seeing asteroids coming down randomly. And lately in real life, um we've seen quite a bit, like the most I've ever seen in my life in this last what six months. And I don't think they're asteroids. Um, uh, so in my dream, they're like coming down. I'm like, that's, that's quite a bit. That doesn't seem like, like an asteroid, but everyone thinks it's an asteroid or I, I don't know the correct term, but you know, s shooting stars, asteroids, whatever. Um, and then, and I'm seeing, uh, seeing them like faster, like more of them. And then I get home and I'm, I'm looking out the window right before I see the truck pull up. And there is more coming. I'm like, those look like bombs. They don't look like asteroids. And all of a sudden, because it was dark out, and all of a sudden it got light after I thought those look like bombs. It got daylight. And when the daylight shone, it showed the planes. There was planes dropping bombs, bombing us. And it was quite a distance away that I, I saw it. Um, but they were like old school, um, the old school World War II airplanes dropping bombs everywhere. They weren't asteroids. They were made to look like asteroids, but they weren't to hurt us, to harm us. And that's when, that's when the uh, trucks pull in. And they weren't just pulling into my house. They, there was a quite a bit down the road going into other people's houses. So, um, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to say any more about the dream. Um, if you would like clarity on what something means, let me know. But, um, I think it's something you guys need to pray about. Uh, there's a, a lot of meaning in into it. I didn't write it down because of how much content was in it. So forgive me for forgetting the beginning. Oh, but the Holy Spirit reminded me of it, uh, which I think is a very important part, was the beginning. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've got another dream, I'm probably going to um, record right after this one, that I had uh, like a year ago. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys um, get on your knees, get on your knees. We, we are, in, we're so close to leaving. <laughs> I hope we're close to leaving. I'm so sick of being here. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the sun and the flowers and the beautiful spring and all the blessings that come with spring, but I am ready to be home and meet every one of you. So, um, yeah, I just I just feel that draw. I've never really been a um, truly a people person, but I really I feel that draw to be with my brothers and sisters in Christ more than I ever have in my life and so yeah oh and to uh there's one subscriber who keeps mentioning how this and that's for you you're welcome